Hello everyone, this is Candy, the 614 Stitcher, and today is September the 29th, 2021, and this is my floss tube number 23. I would first like to thank and welcome um, all of my new subscribers to my videos. I um, hope that you find something that will enable you to keep coming back for more. And to all of my returning friends and subscribers, thank you so very much for all of your support and kindness to me on my channel. I really do appreciate you all. I am here to give you um, the September update for the end of AB Singo. Um, it was fan a fantastic month. I uh, touched a lot of whips, 25 and I was able to get them all completed. Um, um, and I really enjoyed, I enjoyed the challenges that uh, Carolyn and Robin put together. So it was really fun. Um, and I do appreciate all of the hard work that they put into keeping the Magazine Monthly Challenge Group together and keep us active and moving forward. <clears throat> I'm, this is the second time that I have recorded this video, so I uh, just want to let you all know that in case I just seem to like brush over something. I recorded it yesterday um, and I didn't like it, so uh, I decided that I would re-record it um, today. So I had planned also on coming to you last week, but the weather change has really wreaked havoc on my sinuses this year. And so I could not get myself together. My head was just on a, a thousand um, last week. And so I'm thankful now that all of that is passed and I can come to you and give you what um, I have been stitching on for the rest of the month, I did finish all of my AB Singo projects on Sunday um, and will be finishing my album in the group after this video today. So um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. I have um, all of the projects um, written down and we're going to go ahead and get started. So on September the 17th, the letter T was called and my letter T was for Beth Twist. And my project was Cross Stitch Nation. And that is a picture of it. And here's a picture where it was the last time I showed it. And here is where I am now. Now in the photo that I just showed, you would see that there was a head on there. I decided to remove that and I'll be using Almond M&M's color. I can't think of what the actual name of it was, but she has a um, skin tone color line and I have those colors and so I will be stitching um, the head, restitching the head and neck portion in the color of called Bloody Sunday which matches my skin tone closely. Um, and I uh, did put in more work on her dress. So this floss that I'm using, I'm using a um, 16 count Charles Craft Ada. Um, and the floss that I'm using so far for the dress is Amethyst. And it is by Leo and Roxy. And it is a very heavily variegated floss. So I'm just going to be using it to fill in the bottom part of the dress. So that was my tea for September the 17th. The next project I have, um, the next day, I'm sorry. You know, I've already done this once, so. 
The next um, day was the 18th, and that was H. And my H is Harriet Tubman by the Primitive Hair. And this is where it was when I last worked on it. And here is where it is now. So I did have to do a little bit of frogging, um, but I put it all back in. And so this is her um, center part in her hair. And then um, I brought it down to where her hairline is. And I did the same on this side. So this is all of her hairline coming down. I brought over the rest of this, of the um, oval for the picture frame. And I brought this down some more. And that is my Harriet Tubman. I really do... Um, enjoy stitching on this piece the um, light that I have now has really been able to help me get um, to see better um, because the light is so bright so I am stitching this with the called for DMC floss and the name of the fabric is um, dreidels Dryad, sorry, Dryad Saddle, and it is by Fortnite Fabrics. And you can see it's a very heavily modeled piece. I love it. I was in there, um, Mushrooms and Flowers, Floss, uh, Fabric of the Month Club. Um, and in my head, I always want to think 2019, but it must have been 2020. So that was my H for Harriet Tubman. On the 19th, I had a new start. The letter called was P. And my P is for Priscilla Blaine. And there is no, there is no um, before picture. But here's where the chart is. And I started with the very top gingham border and I st stitched on this during the Sunday Zoom meetup and got the whole top part of that border completed. I was um, telling them in the group that I'm not sure if I'm going to do the bottom part of the um, gingham there's a piece underneath the pot. I don't know that I'm going to do that part right there. Um, it's just a whole lot of uh, stitching. A whole lot of stitching. But I um, did enjoy it. And being on the Zoom group, once, you, once I had the pattern down, it was very easy for me to stitch on. So that was letter P. On day 20 was V, and my V is um, Vintage Christmas, and it is by Lori Holt, and it is also a new start. And so this is what that looks like. I already know that I'm going to change the bow tie. Um, but you'll have to wait and see what I change it to when I stitch on it again. And I am stitching this on a 28 count antique ivory Lugana. And that is where, oh, you can see my thread hanging behind. Um, and that is where I did get to for my, for the ABC and go. It was a little over an hour, but I just figured I'd get his head finished. And I am using the called for DMC for that. I'll be stitching three of those. I um, will be stitching those as Christmas ornaments for my grandchildren. 
On the 21st of September, the letter W was called, and my W is winter cardinal etching. And here is a picture of what it will look like prayerfully. And here is a picture of where it was the last time you saw it. And here is where it is now. So um, if you recall, the last time I showed this, I had quite a bit of problems with the trees. So this time I decided to, to skip the trees and go straight to the bird, <laughs> the cardinal. Um, and I am using, this is on also a 16 count Charles Craft Ada, and I am using for the um, cardinal, it is cherry cobbler. So I um, have put in all, I literally put in all of this um, during the stitching session. There were days where if I um, had more time, <coughs> pardon me, if I had more time, then I would just continue on until the thread ran out or until I got to a good stopping point. And that is the case with the Cardinal. I really enjoyed working with the um, Cherry Cobbler, just watching the light and the dark flow in. It, it's a really pretty floss. And that is my Winter Cardinal etching. The next day was the 22nd, and um, the letter was B. And my B, you have not seen before, um, and I really don't have a picture of it. It was Bloomtopia. And so here's where it was the when I started stitching on it for AB Singo. And here is where it is now. So I put in the heart, this four square, these two little um, light motifs, and this branch. I keep calling it a vine. It's not a vine, it's a branch. This was a, um, this is a fat quarter shop. Um, they partner with or make a donation to make a wish of Central and South Texas and this chart is free on their website they do ask that you make a $15 donation um, to stitch the chart. So even though this chart was for 2020, it is still available on their website under make a wish donations. Um, but it is a free chart. They just ask that you make, um, a donation to make a wish. There's a link in the, um, in the profile or on their website to where you click on it, it takes you straight to make a wish and you make your donation that way. Um, Fat Quarter Shop does not touch any of the money. Um, and so that is one of my favorites that I haven't touched for quite some time. That was Bloomtopia by the Fat Quarter Shop. On the 23rd of September, the letter F was called and my F is also a new start and it is Faith and Endurance by Lori Hope and I started with the roof and so here is my um, hour of stitching so the roof um, you know, I, I, this was a brand new start. I am stitching it on 28 count Harvest Moon 
by color and cotton, and I'm using the call for DMCs. And so the next time I um, pick this up, I'll finish the roof and the side of the church. Um, I can tell you also, because you probably noticed it, I will not be stitching that border around my piece. I do enjoy um, enjoy the piece. I'm just not going to stitch that border. You, you just have to know when you're not. <laughs> That's just how I feel. So, on the 24th of September, the letter was I. And my I was ink circles. And it is season, seasonal sun sign <laughs> and that's what it will look like and here's a picture of where it was when I picked it up and here is where I ended up stitching to so this is the autumn um, part of the chart and this up here um, has all kinds of swirlies, curly cues in it and everything. And so it it is the wind, I'm guessing. And then you can see down here, there's like corn stalks. So this is the autumn block that I'm working on. And I finished putting in the blue and then came down and started working on the yellow for where the corn stalks are. I really enjoy Ink Circles charts. Um, they are so detailed and so, when you look at them, you're just like, how, you know, does she do that? But she is a great, great, great designer. And so that was number, uh, that was day 24. And then on day 25, I don't have a picture of it either, but um, here's, a picture it's called Mod Podge and here's a picture of where it was when I started and here is where I finished at so I um, literally just went in and did the black all the way around the clock face this piece was started in January of this year for a for Baringo <coughs> sorry um and so it was actually January and it the piece symbolizes the new year um and so it has the when it's finished it'll have like a face a clock face on it a martini glass and some sparklies um and so I really was thankful to be able to pick glad to be able to pick this up and work on it because I hadn't worked on it since January, which, you know, so many with so little time. So those were all of the projects that I needed to finish, you know, that I finished with. There were three other projects that I needed to put a little bit more time in on. And so now I'm going to show you those. The first project that I'm going to show you, I'll just start with, was day seven, and that was the letter Z. And my Z, I used Weigart fabric, and I am stitching Winter Snowfall by Shannon Christine Designs. <clears throat> And here's a picture of where it was when I left off. I had about 30 more minutes still to work on it. And here's a picture of my completed hour. So I'm just still filling in the white, the this um, chart, the first, 
all of that up there you see is just all white. I don't get into the colors until I get way, <laughs> way down here. So I'll be working on the white for quite some time. Um, in the chart, it, it calls for all DMC, and it says you need nine skeins of DMC um, for just the white. Um, and I am using B5200. And that's where I got to for the rest of my time on it. I did um, learn of a trick to help me stitch on that piece. And it's not using my um, light super high. So I did do better once I um, almost took it down to the very first you know, you hit it and it has three levels. And I literally use the light on the first level to be able to stitch that because it's so that the fabric is so um, heavily twinkly. I can't think of a different word, but twinkly. That's really what it is. Excuse me, it is a 16 count crystal whimsy by Picture This Plus. <laughs> and so on day number 14, I was the letter U was called, and I am stitching my U was Ursula Michaels, and the chart is Let's Be Frozen. And here's where it was when I last showed it to you. I also had about 30 minutes also on this chart. And so here is where I ended up getting to. So this knot up here, I just keep forgetting to take it out. It, I was trying the away waist knot method of back stitching, um, I'm gonna, I'm just going to uh, do my own method because I, that was even more, that was still difficult for me. But I ended up having to take out these stitches here, which starts the globe. This is supposed to uh, replicate a snow globe, which is one of the reasons why I really love it because I love snow globes. Um, I don't collect them, but I do love them. Um, and so I had to take them out because they were in the wrong spot. And then I put in the part of the word flurries. And I will be continuing to work on this because it's going to take a little time for me to do all of that back stitching. <clears throat> the project is probably... I would say 90%, maybe, maybe 80, maybe 89%. <laughs> this is all cross stitch here. Where the dark is, you back stitch it, then you put it in the cross stitches. So wherever you see that at, these are all cross stitches, and the rest of it is all back stitched. <coughs> Pardon me. But I love it, and I'm not going to give up on it, and I'm going to keep on stitching on it. And then the last project that I needed to put a little bit more time into was day 16, and that letter was L. And my L is Love and Joy. And here's a picture of where it was at when I stopped working on it last. And here is where I am now. So I finished off the dividing border. I also put in this little red flowery motif. I surged this fabric, but it, it, because I didn't, not surged, I uh, zigzagged it, and that's why it's still got those threads right there. But, anyway, back to my piece. 
Um, so this, I finished this all the way and putting in this flower and that took up the rest of the time that I needed to put in for it. I am stitching this on a 28 count light gray um, Lugana. And I don't know, that's just what the color was. I think it was a gift or, um, yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I'm enjoying the Lugana in the evening. And so those are all of my AB Singo. Ooh, sorry. AB Singo projects. And I am all finished and completed. And I am going to be entered in the blackout drawing and the bingo drawing. So I'm very excited about it. Even if I don't win, I'm still excited about it. Um, it's nice to be able to touch 25 different projects. For me, I know there were a couple of people that did one project or they worked on two projects, however it, the, the letters were called. But it was so fun just seeing everyone's progress on their charts and on their stitching. And I can't wait for January for Bringo to come back. So that was that part of it. I am going to discuss my plans right now because I actually have quite a bit of haul. Um, so I'm going to go through my plans and then I can go through my haul. Um, for the Magazine Monthly group, October's theme is Kaleidoscope, and the acrostic is Color, C-O-L-O-R. I actually have a project named Kaleidoscope, and so that is what I'll be stitching on for the theme. However, I will not be doing the acrostic this month. I have a different plan. Um... I usually, not usually, I just try to fit in projects as the acrostic goes. With that being said, I want to work on some autumn um, projects or seasonal projects. And no matter how hard I tried, I just could not get it to fit into color. I'm going to keep trying because I have until Friday. So, if I'm not, if I don't make color the acrostic work, what I'll be stitching on will be projects that are autumn. So my ink circle seasonal sun sign, um, also um, autumn skies by uh, hands on design. And I have a couple of other ones. And so that is what my plan is going to be um, if I can't make anything, make any of those projects fit into color. So I um, also will be having a new start um, on Friday. Fat Quarter Shop has come out with a um, mystery autumn beauties. And one of my guild members asked me to participate. And so to support her, I'll be <laughs> stitching on that also. So um, not a whole lot. Um, I'm going to try something a little different in October. Um, I'm going to see about doing maybe uh, those projects that I talked about um, more on a daily rotation just to see. I don't know how that's going to work for me because I work um, a lot. <laughs> and so I don't know how that's actually going to play out for me. But, you know, variety is the spice of life and I need some spice in my life. And so I'm going to try it and see how it goes. So now I am going to clean this up and come right back with my haul. So on, um, it must have been on the 20th, 
I received a text message from my friend, uh, Georgia Girl Stitching, Megan, telling me that she was going to be in town. And in, when I say in town, I mean in Cincinnati. Um, and that she, you know, would like to see me. And so I went to Keepsakes on Saturday and had a blast. I needed it. I needed to go be with my stitchy friends. But you can't go be at Keepsakes and... Well, I guess you could. I don't go to keepsakes without purchasing something. So, um, I did pick up um, a, that antique white Lugana, antique white Lugana, um, that I showed with the reindeer on it. And it's actually not Lugana, it's Jobelin. And so, I have another piece of that. And then I picked up um, a really nice needle minder by Colleen Rebel Stitcher. And I will link her below. Um, she actually will not be selling her needle minders on Facebook or Instagram any longer. She has a website now. So I'll find the website and link it below. But that is what, okay, there you go. That is what it, the needle minder says. I mean, it was really fitting. Um, on Saturday, I, I really needed it. And so I also was able to pick up um, a couple of my um, expo items. And the first one was Springtime Pendrum by Heartstring Samplery. I've never stitched a drum before. This will be the first time. Um, and I actually have a little while. I, I will, my plan is to start this so that it will be ready for the spring. I'm not going to start it right now though, but that's the plan. And then another chart that I picked up was Jeanette Douglas, um, Cozy Into Winter. I love these little charts. I know, it's real glary. Got a lot of glare. And so that's what it looks like. Um, and I... When I looked at, when I first looked at this chart, I didn't realize that it had um, specialty stitches. And so I will be reaching out to friends um, to be able to help me with those when the time comes. I also picked up um, another skein of a cherry cobbler and I also picked up a Bing cherry and then I picked up this beautiful 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 so I the um, springtime pin drum the called for fabric is R and R Reproductions Linen Old Mill Thirty Six Count, but I have decided to go with Twenty Eight Count Jobelin Wood Violet, and that's it right there. And so, um, you know, it should. It's a little darker than what um, Beth called for, but I think it'll still work really nicely. So I have the fabric already for that. And then I also picked up the Autumn um, Punch Needle and Primitive Magazine. And as you can see, I've already, I did that. Look, I brought the book home on Saturday and I was putting little markers in it probably 15 minutes after I got home. So that was my keepsakes haul. 
and in support of my friends in their 28th wedding anniversary, Ronnie and Gary, I um, am participating. I haven't started yet, but I will be. Um, I am participating in their, they're doing the mouth of the woods or trees, birds. They're doing the birds. And I am doing the mouth of the flower. So I picked that up from Garon Stitchery. And I will be stitching that on. This is a 32 count. Um, Weeks Dye Works Sand Queen Linen. Yep, that's it right there. And I'm going to be getting started on that ASAP because they actually started it last Friday. Um, okay, I'm not going to deal with that right now. All that scratching and stuff. So that was my gear on. I had hoped that my um, expo purchases from them would be here by now. I don't know. They When I last looked yesterday, they were still in Florida. So I don't know how that's possible. I mean, they mailed them out right away. Um, but, you know. So I also received, and I know you've seen this quite a bit already, but it's my uh, Color and Cotton Fabric of the Month. And this reminds me of terracotta. It's really being blown out right there because it is much, much darker than what that is showing. But it is beautiful. So that was my fabric of the month by color and cotton. And then... Just yesterday, I also received, and isn't this the cutest bag? I, she doesn't watch me, I'm sure, but I would love to just have one of these cut out so that I could like put it on something. I'm a big turtle, sea turtle person, and so I just love that. I, that, that is from Be Stitch Me, so I got my Be Stitch Me fabric of the month. And I'm sure you've probably seen this already also. It's called After the Harvest. It is a little darker than that. But you see all that beautiful modeling on there? I can't wait. I don't know what I'm going to put on it yet, but it'll be something fabulous. I have to be in touch with her too. And then I got a beautiful card from uh, Miss Susan at Keepsakes. They call her the Floss Whisperer. It's beautiful. Thank you, Miss Susan. Um, and she sent the card because she had put it out online that she was making floss tags. And I told her, I want to play too. So she sent me some floss tags. She is on Instagram, um, and her Instagram is X, X Stitch Fancies, and I will link that also below. She makes um, project bags and floss fancies. She is amazing, let me just tell you. And then I got, um, I renewed my subscription for Just Cross Stitch. And I got the 2022 calendar. And the calendar does have some really beautiful charts in it that I'll be able to stitch from. I know Carolyn did a flip through kind of on that. And then to my surprise, I didn't realize this, but I also received a Hirschner's 
um, catalog, which was really surprising because I don't know how I got on the list, but I'm glad I got on the list. Let me tell you. So I got that in the mail also. And then I received a little, okay, that's all out of that. I received a little envelope in the mail from my good friend, Julie. And we had, we've been, um, we did where we were on Facebook groups or rooms. You know, I'm not good with the whole technology things, but she set it all up and I was like, okay, I'm in. Um, and we were talking about different charts. And so the charts that we were talking about, she pulled and mailed them to me. And so the first one, um, and it's actually got all the floss in it, all the DMC is um, Country Cottage Needleworks Christmas Carols. all the floss and then she knows how much I love ink circles so I am actually going to be starting this sooner than later because um, I am a turtle <laughs> um, I guess I should have took this out but it is the ink circles, uh, turtles all the way down chart. And I'm going to see about if I have a piece of fabric long enough to where I can just cut it and do the bell pull. And then I um, was just truly shocked. Because she then um, also sent me Spring Quakers. And so I will be getting started on this soonish. I, I am, have been watching Carolyn and Andrea stitch this in the Facebook group. And I just was amazed at how beautiful it is. And so I was like, I am going to have to stitch that. Um, and so now <clears throat> I'm going to be on the hunt for the fabric. And I'm going to uh, probably use DMC floss. I'll have to get with the floss whisperer um, and come up with a very good conversion for my color palette and get started working on it. I would have never thought... Um, that I would meet such wonderful people online. Um, I, I have, I, it, it amazes me every, all the time, every day, just the abundance of nice, kind, warm people that I have met in doing floss tubes and being in the groups that I am in on Facebook. It just is mind blowing. When you got people that you see every day that won't so, say hello to you, don't give you a discouraging word, take your mail off your step, all of that. And these are people that I have never met face to face, but they are wonderful and kind. And it really does just blow my mind. Really. I am. I am a better person because of, of the friendships that I have made just online. When people tell you, be very careful of doing anything online, but I have met some of the most wonderful people through this hobby 
that we all share together. Um, and it has been amazing to me. Amazing to me. So before I go off on that tangent and tears start flowing out everywhere, I want to remind you to also be kind. Ooh, that was almost a car accident. Sorry. Um, and I know that, you know, there are challenges everywhere, you know, challenges every day. So before you react, take a moment, a second and reflect and calm yourself down before you react to something. I would also like for you to, as women, um, to remember to go and schedule your mammogram, get your mammograms. We are coming up on October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Be proactive in getting yourself examined and be proactive in taking care of your own health. Um, I know women that have died of breast cancer that should not have died from breast cancer. And so, and then I know women that have survived breast cancer because they took the necessary steps to advocate for their health. And so as we move into October, Please remember to go and get your mammograms. I want to wish you all um, a great rest of the week. And I hope you are getting in a lot of stitching. And I will see you very soon. Good night.